there was yet another assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump here. Uh, so now it's been one day since the last one, and he is recounting his experience. Uh, of course, he wasn't harmed in this. He was out golfing. Um, but he was uh, participating in one of these social media formats on X known as a space where he announced that he's forming a crypto exchange currency company with his sons, Don Jr. Uh, and Eric there. But right at the top, uh, he took some time to describe what he went through yesterday, uh, saying that uh, all of a sudden we heard shots. Uh, so you're going to hear this from the former president describing his experience yesterday. Let's listen. So uh, I was playing golf with some of my friends. It was on a Sunday morning and very peaceful, very beautiful weather. Everything was beautiful. It was a nice place to be. And uh, all of a sudden we heard shots being fired in the air. And I guess probably four or five. And it sounded like bullets. But what do I know about that? But Secret Service knew immediately it was yeah. bullets. And uh, they grabbed me and... Uh, I think probably the other one, Steve, is one of the people, Steve Whitcuff, a great friend of mine, a great uh, great businessman from mostly New York and Florida, great businessman, and more importantly, just a fantastic person. So we're in the group, and uh, everybody just, we got into the carts, and we moved along pretty, pretty good. Uh, I was with an agent, and the agent did a fantastic job. There was no question that we were off that course. I would have loved to have sank that last putt, but uh, we decided, well, let's get out of here. And what the uh, gunfire was actually, interestingly, was a uh, Secret Service agent had seen a barrel of a AK-47, which is a very powerful gun, rifle, and uh, he started shooting at the barrel, started shooting in the bushes. Wow. Could only see the barrel. How good is that, right? But could only see the barrel. Based on that, he started shooting and uh, ran toward the target and was shooting a lot of... I mean, those were the shots we heard. The other one never got a shot off. And he ran across the street and grabbed his car, hopped into his truck or car. And amazingly, a civilian in that area saw something and it looked very suspicious. And in the car, drove their car to the back of his truck of some kind mm -hmm. and took pictures of the license plate, gave wow. them to the sheriff's office. Sheriff Bradshaw is fantastic, very great sheriff for a long time. And within a fairly short period of time, they tracked him down on the highway. It was a pretty high-speed chase. Mm -hmm. And they ended up getting him. They got him. Because wow. you wouldn't want to have somebody like that out there, no. you know, he dropped his gun, the AK-47, he left his gun, he left a uh, cameras behind, left a lot of things behind. So the agent did a fantastic job. The civilian did a phenomenal job, a woman. I mean, who would think you could take a thousand times like that? How many people would have the uh, brain power to follow him and Not take many. pictures of the back of his truck so that they end up getting, and the key was the license. So they got the license and after they had the license, you know, there's all sorts of technology where they can literally pinpoint where this truck is. I never knew something like that existed. And uh, they pinpointed him on the highway. They got him with a high-speed chase. So they got him. It, it was amazing. So Secret Service did a great job. And I think I can say, honestly, the sheriff's office, the law enforcement, everybody really did a great job. All right. So that was former President Trump there uh, on this X space uh, just last hour with his sons, Don Jr. and Eric, describing what happened on the golf course uh, just yesterday there. Uh, this was an announcement that uh, they're starting a cryptocurrency company together, uh, but he went on at length describing what he went through there. Uh, we also know that President Biden called Trump today. Uh, they spoke on the phone. President Biden uh, it took two times uh, to get Trump on the phone. Biden called once and Trump didn't answer. And now they have spoken on the phone here, uh, according to the White House uh, Deputy Press Secretary Emily Simon saying, Biden just spoke with former President Trump and conveyed his relief that he is safe. The two shared a cordial conversation and former President Trump expressed his thanks for the call. Uh, Trump also went on uh, somewhat at length there uh, in that social media venue 
uh, talking about the call a little bit more. Uh, he said this, that he was very nice, that he called up to make sure that I was okay. Uh, this was Trump saying this of the conversation he had with Biden, uh, adding that Biden also sought his input on whether, quote, we need more people on my detail. Biden told reporters earlier that the Secret Service, quote, needs more help, adding, quote, thank God the president's okay here. It's